Welcome everybody to yet another Java E7 tutorial. In this chapter, we'll be talking about expression language. And on this ninth chapter, we'll be talking about why it's the absolute best, if not the uh, one of the best ways to access data from your Java classes to your presentation of your web application. Now let's take a look at why EL is the best way to access data. It's a dynamic way to access data from Java Beans components. It's for reading data, for writing data, and to perform arithmetic, Boolean, and string operations. Now let's take a look at what makes EL tick. The first part is immediate evaluation. This is an expression that is evaluated and immediately returned. This is then followed by the deferred evaluation which is an expression that is evaluated at a later time, depending on a code. Now, immediate evaluation is expressed by the dollar sign and an expression inside the curly brackets. This is a sudden, like a sudden, like um, return of a request and sent back by a response. Then there's the deferred evaluation, which uses the hashtag sign and this is actually held by your um, server for a little bit, and then it sends it back um, after it's done computing. Of course, immediate evaluation is faster than deferred evaluation, but JSF uses deferred evaluation the most because of its multi-phase lifecycle, which means that your uh, server needs to hold on to your request, compute some stuff on top of it, and then send it back. This can't be done with immediate evaluation, and so the server uses um, deferred evaluation much more. So there are two ways to write expressions. So the value expression, which is uh, expressions that yield values. There's the I value, and then there's the R value. I values can assign a value to a target, um, but it does not work with immediate evaluation. What that means is that uh, you can take a variable and you can assign a value to the target, which means that if your user inputs a variable, uh, like a like a value for a variable, you can then hold on to that, and then you can use it for later on uh, operations. Of course, you can't do that with um, immediate evaluation, since this is a immediate evaluation is taking the response or taking the request and then sending back a response immediately, which means that you can't assign a value to a target. In contrast, R values can't assign such a target and are only used by operations like lambda, addition, or minusing. Then there's method expressions, which are basically um, when uh, expression language is used to um, take methods instead of uh, variables. This is when you want to do stuff like validation and um, stuff that only methods can do instead of just data from uh, expression language. Thank you for watching my video and I'll see you in the next video.